Hello, and welcome to my little weekly lesson on Mel Bay's Modern Guitar Method. This is a method designed for pick style playing, and that's really important because they have methods for classical, which is primarily fingers, it's all fingers, and jazz guitar, which is a combination of the two. Uh, country is a hybrid, a cross between the two, so what, we're, what this book primarily focuses on is playing the guitar with a plectrum or a pick, and it is a beginning, beginner's guitar method, but at the same time, it's an advanced college level course method. There's actually seven volumes to this book, and by the time you go through all seven volumes, you can play pretty much anything, read anything, and it's it's the most amazing uh, method I've come across for reading guitar. Now, there's a lot of great ones out there, but it just really works on training your subconscious mind to remember and uh, be able to play without really looking at your guitar. And to me, that's what I'm going for. When, when you play live, you don't want to be, you know, concentrating, you know, on your hand. You want to be free to be able to sing and look at the crowd and interact and uh, have a good time. So what this method does is it, it teaches you how to play without looking at the guitar. It trains your subconscious mind to just really be intuitive. And well, I mean, once you start going through the book, um, it, you're playing just no matter if you're rock, metal, blues, or jazz, this is going to help your playing immensely, being able to read music. Um, so this whole course is just about this um, book. You're not going to see me much in the video videos on a weekly basis. Um, we're going to just concentrate on this and we're going to start with the first lesson today and we're going to also kind of go through and give you a little history of the book so you know what's going on um, and where it's ended up uh, 70 years later after being written. So guess we'll dive right in. Um, the reason I want to show all these different books is because over the years I've read online uh, where guys have said one book is better than the other and the old books were better, but I really don't feel that way. I feel that the best version is the most new, the, the expanded edition, and that's the one I recommend that you guys get. Now, I don't have the new version, on a book form, I have it on an ebook, and this is a really a great one to get here is the ebook version um, because it's all seven books with online audio and video lessons. So each book, um, okay, this starts out with grade one, and it gives you all of the information. And it gives you where to go for audio and video, plus a YouTube video. Um, and it gives you some free rock guitar solos and other bonus material at uh, melbay.com forward slash grade freebies. So this is the one they get because it has all of the books in it with the online audio and video. So it's really hard to beat. Um, uh, let's start out at the beginning here. The first Mel Bay book, very interesting. Now, a lot of people blow right by um, the entry pages. Uh, you want to pay attention to this because it'll teach you how to tune your guitar from a piano and with a pitch pipe. And then um, once you have one note from a pitch pipe, uh, you can go through this method and learn how to tune. Next page, he shows you the rudiments of music. Um, then we come over to the notes. 
the rest, the ledger lines, which is usually about a third of the way through the first book. He shows you the ledger lines um, of the modern methods. This is, this is the, let's see when this was printed. I believe this is 1948. Okay, I think it came out in 1947, so this is the first version. Now, he starts out differently. Okay, this is super important. People ignore this, but one place where we can get messed up is our elbow. If we're sitting on a, ha a couch relaxing or if, if this elbow isn't free to move and we've got it bunched up against our chest or my, our lap, it's going to inhibit us, inhibit us from being able to hold the cords properly. So just watch out for that. Keep your elbow and arm, you know, free of all obstruction. And, and this is super important, the way he holds his pick. I know it's, it may just look like, oh, yeah, he's just holding the pick. Well, you want to pay attention to how he's holding the pick because it's the proper way. And, you know, he just talks about the left hand numbers for the fingers and the position, which is super important. He's got beautiful position, his thumbs behind the neck. His fingers look really nice. Now, here we go. The first reading, Mel starts us out on the low E string as opposed to the high string, which is different than how the new book's written. Um, so the new book starts out with a high E string where this starts with a low string and I could see where it might be hard to read at first to read ledger lines for people and maybe that's why he went and, and this is starting with a low six string whereas the new book is starting the first string is the first string and it's an E as well so we have two E's the outer strings are called E are E strings and so that's, that's how he's starting us off here. He's moving through pretty quick. You know, we're on the you know, third page, we're on the D string. So he's given us one page and we're gonna learn these three notes, E, F, and G. And then we practice a little and we're moving on to the A string. And we move on to the D string. So he's moving pretty quick. And then over here, we've got some kind of neat old song, just nice to learn. Songs that you've never played or heard, maybe. Um, then we're already at the G string. I mean, he's te he's going through it pretty quick. We're already at the E string by page 16. So, um, that's how the first, pre uh, first printing started out in 1947. Now, I think in the late 50s, well, this book's from the 80s, so, but, but I think he switched over to the, to the um, starting out with the E string for the first um, book. So we're gonna start, now we've got some nicer pictures. And it shows us our, our numbers for our fingers, one, two, three, four. And we've got good thumb position, how to hold the pick, which is really important. And then, uh, okay, we're back to the tuning. We've got the pitch pipe here. Um, okay, it's pretty much the same setup, except it's laid out a lot easier to see when we start talking about the staff and the lines and the spaces and the bars and the measures. It's, it's I mean, this is the stuff you want to learn immediately. And... That's what we're gonna, these are the building blocks to reading music, understanding the names of the notes, uh, the lines on the staff and the spaces, and um, what a measure and a bar is, the treble clef, and the note values. Okay, now we start with a way better a view of the fingerboard than what Mel's trying to portray here. So we've got the first string, which you just hit it open without holding any note down. 
Then our first fret is F and our third fret is G. This is all on the first string. And we get a little more practice here and then we get a little test, fill in the blocks and we move to the B string. And we have open B, C, and D. Now once you learn these notes, you start practicing down here. Whole notes, half notes, quarter notes. Okay, so we get a little more practice and then we're on to the G string, which is only two notes. An open G and the A at the second fret. Now, Okay, so that's how this book progresses. Now, when we get into the expanded series edition, this is when things get really good. First of all, we go from uh, 47 pages to 88 pages. Um, so we start out the same, but we, let's see, this book came out and 2005, they came out with this printing. So in 2005, they've updated the tuning section to include an electronic guitar tuner. So if they were to do the book now, I'm sure they would show, on, uh, show clip-on tuners, possibly. So that's an update. Now, as Mel shows us the tried true method, of you know, learning the E notes on the E string up to the third fret. Now we have a lot more practice on each string and a lot more variations in notes. And I've had people try the new method and by the time they're down here, I mean, within their first 10 minutes, they're reading the first three notes on the E string and you know, in the old days, people would say, well, that Mel Bay, it's good, but it, you need a lot of supplements. Well, in 2005, when they updated the method to the expanded edition, they've added more than enough supplemental material. In fact, the, the book's doubled in size, so that goes to show right there. Um, there's enough material now to thoroughly get this implanted into our brains, these notes. So anyway... Um, so they're giving us two full pages of practice, an extra page. This, this was the original page after the initial note review. They, this is a regular page. Well, now this is new. So we've got eight lines of um, notes to familiarize ourselves with. And once you go through one or two of these, you'll be able to read the other ones. I mean, they're all real similar. I'm just looking at them now. They're starting with a different note at the beginning and they're just mixing things up. So you're going to be so surprised that just by doing this, you're, you're going to, you're going to know it. So your first week is your first lesson is basically all of this information and your notes on the E string. And then the next week we're on page 10, which is the B string. So by the time we get ready for lesson two, we're gonna have all this stuff memorized and we're gonna have it down. We don't use any cheat sheets, we don't use any tab. Now you can use all the tab you want outside of your practicing how to read notes. Uh, but when we're, we don't ever wanna learn tab by tab, we wanna just learn these notes. And if you can't read these notes, you have to just go back because when you go out to play with people, say at a church or at a live show, or at a whatever, you have to be able to read these. You're, you're not gonna be able to have somebody show it to you. So in there's cer certain circumstances you have to read. So this is a great skill to have and I highly suggest learning it. Okay, so the expanded edition is all the regular Mel Bay stuff, but with a lot of extra. So, let me sit down now. Okay, so this is so neat because you can just go page by page and take this anywhere. 
So here we go. We've got the whole notes, half note, quarter notes. This is our first page. We start here. Okay, this is this has all the uh, uh, this has everything from the expanded edition. We just have it on the computer now. So um, this is this is a great way to go. But what what makes this one so unique is you have all seven books for thirty nine ninety five. So let me let you hear this first. Um, this little page so you can see what's going on. And we're gonna use a metronome so I play in rhythm and time. Let's see what this sounds like. One, two, ready, go. Whoa, that was bad. <laughs> okay, how am I doing? Okay, one, two, ready, go. Three, four, two, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, F, two, three, four. Now we're gonna go half notes. Um, I didn't tell you guys, this, this symbol means a downstroke, so Mel mostly uses downstrokes, and once you start, guys that play, gals that play, this, this downstroke technique is amazing, and you won't believe, it, it really lends itself to sweeping, so pay attention, every note is a downstroke, even if you're a professional and you can do alternate picking, you still want to use these down strokes. Okay, now here we're, let's just go to quarter notes and you'll see we've got down strokes on everything. See, I got, I got carried away and I wasn't paying attention. Let's do that again. This one, little work, working the fingers. See, I got thrown off on that one. Let's do it again. Anyway, you get the idea. So that's basically the book. Um, so our, our, our lesson this week is learning. We start at page two and we go to page nine, it looks like. And that's, that's the weekly test. Um, we're starting out caveman style. I'm sorry, I don't have the best grammar, um, but I will get you started and you will learn. And if you just do what I say, practice 20 minutes a day or two hours a day. But if you can at least get 20 minutes a day uninterrupted, um, you're gonna do really good. So there's a few other things I wanted to talk about. One way to learn these notes is to burn them into your subconscious mind. Get regular staff paper and take our first note, which is E. 
It's these are F A C E the, the spaces. So the top space is an E. So if we go here on the top space and we just we start making E's and we just say E and we just make a whole note E E E E. It's open string first string open E open E. So if you do that about on one whole line, you're going to program that into your subconscious mind. Now we're going to go with the F. The, the lines are every good boy does fine. So the top line, okay, we're losing it. The top line is F. So we're just going to, we're going to circle that and we're going to say first fret, first yeah, first fret F. So on the E string. And we just make a bunch of E's and we tell ourselves that's an F note. That's an F note. Now the same thing with the G note. The G note is right on top. And we're just gonna make a whole line of G's and we're gonna write first string, third fret G, third fret. Second fret, or first fret, duh. First fret F. Okay, so we're just gonna write G, G, G. And if you write those across this whole bar and say those, you're gonna memorize those. So that's a way to learn all your notes and write them down. And if you have any problems, just refer back to your notes like your whole note. Let's let's look at these. Our whole note. This whole note gets four beats. One, two, three, four. So when you see a whole note, hold it for four notes. One, two, three, four. When you see a half note, that's a that's one of these open, looks like a O with a Opening, well, this one's a little smaller and it's got a stem coming down. That's a half note. That gets two counts. One, two, one, two. Okay, this is a quarter note. This gets one count. One, 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 one. And then the eighth notes, we'll get two per every one. But we're not using those right now, so... We're just gonna concentrate on these notes, the whole half and quarter, okay? Now, this will talk about wrists. Learn these, and you can learn these pretty quick, in about a half hour. Now these notes, just learn these notes and write them down. There's gonna be a link for um, downloadable and printable music staff paper, so you can just print a few of those out and write a thousand E's, a thousand F's, <laughs> or a hundred E's, a hundred F's, whatever you got to do, get these burned into your subconscious, learn the notes on the strings, and then when you start playing them, it, you're going to get it. it. If you get frustrated, all you have to do is just focus. And once you start focusing, if you don't get it that day, I promise you the next day when you come back, you'll have it. But just by putting the effort in and working at it a little for a minute or two, it'll train your subconscious mind where to put those fingers and just stick with it and do it. And another thing is really uh, just pay attention and have fun, but, but try to really listen and make, instead of just hitting an, an open E, like you heard me make some horrible mistakes there because I was, you know, I've got a lot going on over here. That's no excuse. When you play live, you have a lot going on too, especially nerve. So, uh, you know, we hit it instead of just hitting a, you know, a random, you know, you want to hit it really nice. You know, okay, so let's, let's try this one.
Okay, we'll try. Okay, let's see. We'll try this one. This one. So learn these and okay, I remember these from the old days. Okay, the reason why I'm showing you guys this stuff, uh, you you don't want to just learn this stuff and play it because it's not the kind of music you want to just play on these exercises. Once we get going, it's beautiful. Um, and, and yeah, they have great songs, but this is practice material. And, and I've seen other Mel Bay channels where they're showing you how to play this. And this is not that kind of like, it's not like showing someone stairway to heaven. Um, these are exercises that are teaching us how to read. So if we're, someone's just showing us, like no one's gonna ever come here, you go. You know, that's not, I mean, these are examples from, uh, this is a method. So if you're not reading it, drop everything and go read it. Start at the beginning and, don't try to get ahead of yourself. This method will take a long time. But once you get halfway through book one, you'll really be able to figure out, even if you don't know the key, you'll really be able to figure out how to, how to read music. I mean, if you get a sheet of music that's in a difficult key, E major or you know G minor or something, with a little tenacity you can sit down and figure it out it might take you a few hours but without knowing how to music play music it would just look like a bunch of ink on a page so um we're starting this channel out caveman style i'm gonna get some nice software so we can have some split screens um but in the old days when you took a lesson, you just sat down with your book and a teacher, and most of the times they were chain smokers, so, and coffee drinkers. So if you're a young kid, it, you know, you have to go in a little four by four room and sit with a guy that's chain smoking. Uh, you don't have to do that now with the internet. So this book will really, really open doors for you. And I, I encourage you guys to um, get involved with other people that read music because a lot of, what we're doing in this book, we're going to be doing a lot of duets, which which is two people playing at the same time. And that's how you really get to be a good player. Um, let's see when we start hitting some duets. This video is getting pretty long. In fact, this is my first video, guys. And like I say, I'm caveman. My grammar's terrible. But uh, I think I can help you guys. Um, I had a lot of years playing this stuff. And... I had a lot of years of failing, and when I finally learned to read, I wasn't embarrassed to, to try out for certain gigs, and I got those gigs. So this this um, this method will, will really open doors for you, and I encourage you to add this to your practice regimen. All right, guys, talk to you soon.